So in this uh, video, we're going to be looking at uh, the next section on recurring decimals. Um, now let's take a look at the first question. In the first question, it says, prove algebraically that the recurring decimal 0 0.25 recurring has the value 23 over 90. So for those of you who aren't familiar, 0 0.25 recurring is a fancy way of saying 0 0.255 and then so on and so on. So you might look at this and think, well, how do we, what do we do about that? How can we deal with a number like this? And the best technique uh, with this is to actually, we can call this value x. So we can actually, we can say, suppose our value x is actually equal to 0 0.25 recurring like this. Now, I'm aware that it is a calculator question, but actually, since we've, and we, and we could just put in 25 over 90 on the calculator, press the SD button and, and prove that we, uh, that we get 0.25 recurring. But although a calculator is allowed, it's not actually necessary to use it because the question's asking us to prove algebraically that this value is equal to uh, 23 over 90. So it's not enough just to bring the calculator up and sort of say to yourself and it's definitely true we have to do this without a calculator uh, the re why this was a calculator pay a paper question I don't know but we don't need to use the calculator so onwards and upwards we know that uh, our notation now is correct that x equals 0 0.25 recurring but this is the key breakthrough here suppose we took this x Suppose we times 10 by x. We'd have to do exactly the same thing on the right-hand side. So if we times the left-hand side, x, by 10, we also have to times the right-hand side, 0.25 recurring, by 10. Now, 10 times x is the same as 10x. 10 times 0 0.25 recurring, because we times in by 10, and there's one zero, we move the decimal place one point to the right. So what we've actually got, instead of 0 0.25 recurring, we've got 2.5 recurring. Now, if we bring back our original value for x, we've got x equals 0 0.25 recurring like this. And what we can actually do, we can actually change this. We can change this slightly. We can actually say, since 2.5 recurring is the same as 5555 five, 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 and so on and so on, you can actually do the same with this as well. We can actually change the recurring bit for 555 five, five, recurring and so on and so on. And then if we actually do a subtraction here, what we can actually see is that all these fives here cancel out with all these fives here. And what we're actually left with is the following. We can actually we don't even have we don't even have to worry about any of this stuff over here. We can just block it out and disregard because it's all all these five recurring things have cancelled each other out. So all we're left with, the only bit that we need to worry about is this section of our subtraction. So we'll we also make sure we put the decimal point directly below where the other two decimal places are. We've got five take away three a two is three. Two take away zero is two. And then we've got equals nine x take away x. Sorry, ten x take away x is nine x. And that's what we've got now. So we know if we go over here we can see that nine x equals 2.3. Now, how can we get rid of this decimal? And what we can do, we can again times both sides of this equation by 10. So 9x times 10 will be 90x. 2.3 times 10, again, we're just moving the decimal place one point to the right, so that'll be 23. Now, you might be wondering, well, why is 9x times 10 equal to 90x. Well, 9x times 10 is the same as 9 times x times 10. 
Ah, uh, 9 times x times 10 is the same as 9 times 10 times x. 9 times 10 is 90 times x, which equals 90x. So that's how I've got to that point there. Okay. Now, x. We, we established before that x was equal to 0 0.25 recurring. And we want to try and prove, if we can prove that x is equal to 23 over 90, then we're done. Then we can effectively say, well, in that case, 23 over 90 must be the same as 0 0.25 recurring. But look at this. We can see now we've got a 90 and we've got a 23. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 90, we actually get x equals 23 over 90. And now we've actually proven uh, since since x is also equal to 0 0.25 recurring, then these two things, since x equals x, 23 over 90 must be equal to 0 0.25 recurring. And we're done. So let's now look at the next question. and Let's use a similar sort of principle as before. So again, we can say that x is equal to 0 0.1 seven recurring and we want to try and we want to try to show that x is equal to eight, eight, 8 over 45 so what we do we do the same again we can say well 9x not 9x sorry 10x must be equal to 1.7 recurring and x equals 0.17 recurring. But what we can actually do, we can, since 7 recurring is the same as writing a load of 7s out like that, we can very quickly see that we can easily subtract this in the same way as what we did in the previous question. So all these 7s cancel out of all these 7s. 7 take away 1 is 6. We put that we put decimal point directly below. One take away zero is one. Nine x take away ten uh, x take away x is nine x. So what we've got is nine x equals one point six. But we've still got this decimal place to deal with here, haven't we? So we need to if we times both sides by ten, we can see that. 9x times 10, which is 90x, equals 1.6 times 10, which equals 16. Now, if we if we rearrange this equation to make x the subject, we can do that by dividing both sides by 90. So we get x equals 16 over 90. And you might be wondering, you might be thinking, well, hang on, this isn't the same as 8 over 45. But if you notice, yes, it is, because you can simplify this fraction and you can do that by recognising that 16 and 90 are both even numbers, so therefore we can divide both the top and bottom by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 90 divided by 2 is 45. Since x is equal to uh, 0.17 recurring, we know that x equals x, so 0.17 recurring must be equal to 8 over 45. Let's now look at this final question. And again, I've, I've done the first couple of examples for you, so be sure to pause the video and have a go at this yourself and uh, take a moment to have a go at this on a piece of paper. So again, in exactly the same way, uh, we can let x be equal to 0 0.38 recurring. Uh, so 10x will be equal to... 3.8 recurring we can work out we can work out 9x by simply writing this out again if 10x equals 3.888 and so on and so on and x equals 0 0.3888 and so on we subtract from the other we can see that these eight all the eights here cancel out 3.8 take away 0 0.3 well 8 minus 3 is 5, 3 minus 0 is 3, 10x minus x is 9x. So we know that 9x equals 3.5. And again, we, we're only interested in whole numbers, 
So we want to times both sides by 10. So 90x is equal to 35. Dividing both sides by 90, we can actually see that x will be equal to 35 divided by 90. But now you might be wondering, well, hang on, how can we simplify this? Well, what we can see, we can see that the top and bottom is actually divisible by 5. So we can start with 5 first. Anything divisible by 5 is anything that ends in 0 or 5. Now we've got uh, 35 divided by 5 is 7. 90 divided by 5 is the same as 90 divided by 10 times 2. Uh, so because 10, because 9 10 is going to 90, 18 10 5s must go into 90. So we can write 18 here. And now we have it x equals 7 over 18. Uh, since x was equal to 0 0.38, we can actually see we've actually proven that both of these things where I've put the arrows are actually equal to each other. So I hope this video has helped you out. Uh, next video, uh, I'll be talking about uh, thirds.